Welcome to AutoCAD Tip of the Day. My name is Mike Williams and today I'm going to show you several tips. The primary tip that I'm going to be showing you revolves around the autosave function, but in kind of demonstrating some, uh, some things about it, I'm going to show you several tips along the way. So let's get started. Uh, if you're unaware of it, AutoCAD does have an autosave feature. You can set it to tell, you can tell it how long in between saves you want to go before the autosave um, happens. Uh, it does not save it to your actual, your main drawing. So in this case, stair section.dwg, it's not going to just do a, a regular save every so often to that file. That only occurs if I physically tell it save by clicking the save button there, typing it. Um, basically, when AutoCAD does an auto save, it saves it to a different location, gives it a different file name, and gives it a different extension. So all three of those make it difficult sometimes to figure out where in the world it went and how to recover it. So we're going to look at that today. First thing we need to do is we need to go and check and see what our, 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 just our time in between saves is set to. And I need you to go to the Options dialog box. A uh, quick tip here to get to the Options dialog box in the command line, I can right click, click on Options, and I'm in the Options dialog box. Uh, much quicker than, um, than some of the other ways to get to it. Okay, over here, Open and Save tab. Down here, automatic save is checked. That means it's turned on, and I've got mine set to eight minutes. You're going to have to determine for yourself the best setting for this. I like eight minutes because I don't like to have to go back and redo any more than eight minutes worth of work. But uh, most of the files that I'm working with uh, can save uh, rather uh, quickly. If you're working in really, really big files and it takes a long time to save, if you're on a slow network or on a slow computer, uh, you might need to bump this up just because you don't want to set your autosave to 8 minutes if it takes 10 minutes to save the file and then you're constantly waiting for the file to save. So anyway, whatever you set it to, it's kind of a gamble. The, 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 the longer the distance, the longer the time, the more of a gamble that you're kind of taking in case of a crash or something like that. Alright, so in this case we're going we're gonna to save every 8 minutes and now I need to know where it's going to save, where it's going to save the file. I can go over to Files look down here and I can see that it's going to save it to uh, automatic file save location. I can click on that. It's going to save it to C colon ACAD files auto save. Now I created that directory. Um, I'll show you in a minute why, but, uh, but for right now let's just go see our auto save file uh, right now. Uh, here's a quick tip and this one's going to um, actually, I'll, I'll demonstrate it here in a minute uh, in a little bit of a uh, a more impressive way, but for right now, I'm just gonna. I want to go to this directory. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select in here, select again, right click, and copy, and it copies that path. Um, then I'm gonna go into uh, my computer. Uh, I'm gonna go to the MW here. Actually, that's my files are in this AutoCAD training directory, and I'm I'm just gonna click up in this bar, right click, and I'm gonna paste in that path. I'm going to hit enter and it takes me straight to that directory. I can see my auto save file here, stair section 118467.sv dollar sign. Uh, stair section is the name of my file. Then I've got like a session ID number and, and just a, some random numbers and things like that. The, the format isn't as important for this tip. Uh, and the file extension is sv dollar sign. That is the file extension for the auto save file. Now you can't open that file directly. If I want to open that file, I'm going to have to rename it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. I'm going to rename it to uh, have a .dwg extension. And in the event that this file had uh, frozen up on me or I lost it, I'm going to go ahead and close it right now. That's my main section, uh, my main drawing. And now I can go and I can open up this autosave when I just created. So I'm just going to double click on it. It'll launch. And now I'm in the autosave version of this file. So let's say that this was the file I wanted to save. This saved my life. I'm so happy I found it. I'm so happy I set my autosave to eight minutes. I won't have to redo a bunch of work. I now need to save it back into its original file location so I just can continue working on it. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go to File and do a Save As. That allows me to give it a new name. Uh, keep the old one where it was, give it a new name, and, uh, and be in the new name file whenever I start working. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to my documents. I want to go, uh, actually, I want to go to the MW, AutoCAD Training, and I need to save it. It's still got this long file name here. 
I want to save it to stair section. Now here's another tip for you. Um, first of all, I don't like to just overwrite files, especially after a crash, after a recovery. But I'm going to click on that file, and by clicking on that file, it actually puts that to be the file name, so I didn't have to type it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other file that I had, my old one, the, the previous version before the crash, I'm going to drag it into this old directory. So it's going to move that file into the old directory, so I still have it. Plus, it now gave me this name, stair section, which is what I wanted to be named anyway, and I'm still in this AutoCAD training directory, so I can just hit save, and in essence, I just put that file right back where it was, but I kept my previous file uh, just in case. Um, so there's a little quick tip for you on that. Okay, so uh, basically that's all we needed, that's all we're going to cover today on the autosave function. Real quick, I did want to show you another tip on these uh, file paths. Um, I'm going to go back to my options, and to, to kind of give you this tip, I'm going to show it to you by looking at the file path for the authoring palette file location. If I open that up and I look at this file path name, it is long. As a matter of fact, if I was going to try to navigate to that directory, I'm going to go to the C drive, I'm going to go to users, I'm going to go to the MW directory, and then it tells me that I need to go to the, to the um, app data directory, and it's not even on here. That's because it's a hidden file. Um, so in order to get to that directory, I'd have to come up to Tools, go to Folder Options, View, and then tell it to show the hidden files and folders. If I tell it OK, now I can see that directory, App Data, right here. I can go to it, and then I can continue on. It's, it's roaming, and then I have to go to the Autodesk directory, and I can just continue to follow this path, basically the same path that's outlined in here. and um, as you can see, it takes quite a while to get there. So I'm not sure why Autodesk has gone to naming them with such long path names and, and going through these hidden files and all that. But the tip that we looked at a while ago, where we just click, click again, right click, copy, allows us to copy these really long paths. And it doesn't even matter uh, if we, I'm going to go, as a matter of fact, it's not a good thing to really turn our show hidden files on. We want those turned off just so we make sure we don't mess with any uh, files that are important that need to be hidden. So I'm going to turn that off. It doesn't even matter if that's turned off. I can actually paste in that path directly and I can go straight to that path. So there's a quick tip to uh, navigate some of these uh, long folder names. And uh, one other thing, whenever we renamed that, uh, that file, if I go back to, uh, like I'm going to come back over here to my AutoCAD Save file location. I'm going to copy that one. Paste it in here. I can see my extensions, and so it's easy for me to rename a file here. If your extensions are not showing up and you're wondering how in the world do you even rename the file to begin with, you got to go to Tools, Folder Options, basically the same place we were just at. Right below the hidden file location is the hide extensions for known file types. If you have that checked, then you wouldn't see the file extensions on all your um, files. So sometimes you might run into some problems when it comes to renaming. All right. Well, that was your tip for the day. Actually, that was probably about four or five tips for today. Uh, thank you for subscribing to AutoCAD Tip of the Day. And until next time, I'm Mike Williams. Thank you.